Hello, it is Wednesday morning and I've just got out of bed. This, as you can see, is not a video all about the dishwasher. I had a bit of trouble with it, shall we say. I'm gonna have to get it plumbed in properly. This was exactly what I wanted to avoid just because of, you know, social distancing and stuff, but I'm just gonna have to do it. Open all the windows and doors and yeah. Mm. This just kept coming off, <laughs> basically, but not just in any nice, you know, gentle plopping way. Oh no, in a high powered explosive way, which involved even spraying water on the ceiling. Yes. I was so excited, but I had a very dramatic anti-climax and ended up having to get everything back out of here and washing it by hand again. It's a bit unsightly, it's a bit of a lump in my kitchen and I hadn't considered how I would feel about seeing the actual physical form of it and I, I do kind of miss the symmetry of my kitchen and I never thought I'd be the sort of person to be bothered by missing the symmetry of my kitchen <laughs> but I got a feeling I'll get used to it and probably once it's up and running I'll be delighted with it. There it is. I mean I'm excited to get it working I'm just it was a bit of an oversight that I just couldn't get it to work off the tap. It says you can use it off a tap but well, I can't, the pressure just builds up and up and then the thing comes flying off. So I filmed half of a specific video about the dishwasher up to the point where it was just all going disastrously wrong. <laughs> and I thought I'm just gonna have to like make this one a to be continued, I think. And uh, just keep it until it's reached its conclusion and then film the rest of that and then publish it. So it will be out at some point, but not yet. I'm just gonna carry on with my daily vlogs for now. I'm gonna make myself a coffee now and just sit and contemplate my life a bit and uh, then get on with things. I've put the camera on the dishwasher. Look, I've gone stripy. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, I've got an extra place to put the camera. Um, that's not a good look though. The rot is starting to set in a bit for me today. Oh, and yesterday, just the pandemic rot, you know, being in the same house all the time. I try to keep my life as varied as I can, but I'm not very good at that really because I set routines for myself and then end up doing the same thing every day. I think what I need to do is start dedicating some whole days to doing something different, like a, a reading day or a some sort of project day, cleaning the garden day. Whereas I try to fit everything in around my, my daily things that I've set myself and I think that's where I fall down a bit. But today I really do need to do some flute practice so that bit's definitely going to stay in. And of course the vlog stuff stays in the routine. Right, and make coffee and do contemplating. I've been doing some contemplating and this is what I've been contemplating about. It's just such a difficult age for Isabel to be in lockdown. And I'm sure everybody with older teenagers, older teenagers? Teenagers that are around the age 15, 16 mark, they're probably experiencing the same thing. They are just at a point of their lives where they need to explode out of the home and just make their own connections, have their own experiences and their own autonomy and have relationships with other people outside of the home that are separate from inside the home. Well, hopefully, you know, good ones. This is a dangerous point though, isn't it? Where they can fall in with people that maybe would have a negative or toxic influence on them. But anyway, I mean, that's not happening in the pandemic. That's one saving grace, I suppose. Oh, but just, I feel like she needs to have that freedom. And it's just been so difficult because up until this point, I've taken a lot more control of her schedule, setting up experiences for her to have and, and sort of like being in charge of that that kind of safety valve of comfort zone, you know, like putting just out of her comfort zone all the time into that discomfort zone sweet spot. So she's just got to struggle a little bit so she can grow a little, you know, as a person. Just just so it's, she can just about cope with it, you know, so it's not stressing her out too much. Just a bit. <laughs> so that she has to learn and, and develop in order to cope in that situation. And she's, I was thinking last night, this pandemic, although it's horrific, it's putting a lot of people right in their comfort zone, in their own home, they're not going out, everything's easy. She doesn't have to get up early, she can just set her alarm and then literally open her eyes, go down, get her phone, and then she's in college, you know. There's, nothing's difficult and, I don't know, it's difficult to grow, isn't it? Like, I always feel like she needs to just have that right level of challenge, but, you know, interspersed with the right amount of sort of processing time afterwards, so not, not continuous, you know, this is something I've always kind of been very mindful of as a parent for helping 
developmental growth or whatever. And right now, instinctively, she just doesn't want my input. If she had been 10 years younger, I'd have been thinking, right, on Tuesday we'll go to the park, on Wednesday we'll have a walk in the woods and we'll take a sandwich with us. On Thursday we'll go and walk around the outside of the shops and looking at the windows, we'll talk about the prices that we see. You know, I would structure stuff outside of the home, even if it was a pandemic, we would do stuff and I would structure it and she would, you know, get something out of it. But she doesn't want me to now and I don't feel like it's appropriate for me to do that at her stage of development. I'm frustrated for her because this is such a fundamental sort of phase for her of getting out and exploring and she's not able to do it and she doesn't want to do it on her own. For Isabel the point of going out is to see friends and because she's not been able to do that because of the pandemic she's just like well why would I want to go and have a walk around the park on my own what's the point? I'm gonna have to think about it a bit more like, I don't want to be forceful I don't want to force her out. Yeah I mean it's been seeming like this was just a temporary thing and they'd be going back to college soon but they just it doesn't seem to be an end in sight. The rumour has it she'll be going back after Easter, so I suppose it's only a few more weeks. I was just working on the vlog upstairs and there was a rat-a-tat-tat -tat at the door and I thought, what can that be? And it's my GoPro! Well, the new GoPro, third time lucky. Oh, I hope it's gonna work. Anyway, here it is. Izzy is sitting here, she's in a dressing gown and uh, is playing chess by herself. Who's winning, Isabel? Uh, white at the moment. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say me. Oh, I am. Me too. You're both winning, are you? Yeah, and losing at the same time. Oh, it's not my GoPro! It's not my GoPro! What is it? I was suspicious about the packaging. It's the free thing that they're sending me as an apology because I had to pay £22 postage to get it to the Netherlands because we're no longer part of the EU. It's the selfie stick thingy. Well, let's have a look at the selfie stick thingy. There's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> they stick on the camera. Oh, I've still got my reading glasses on because I was mid work on the vlog. Oh, good heavens. It's not what I was expecting. Does it extend? I thought it was supposed to be a like an extendable pole thing. It's not. <laughs> well, it's very grippy. Um, okay. Thank you, GoPro, for my consolation prize there we are i have an extra thing i'm gonna go back and finish working on the vlog now it's about concentrating extreme concentration <laughs> i'm gonna give you izzy some maths work to do Yay. you're so lucky to have me as a mum you are pushy mum have you sent that message to your maths tutor yet that i typed and i can just paste it in i can't access her tutors anymore well, not that she had tutors before, but you know. I just want to know what she's doing and what she's not doing in math so that we can fill in the gaps, basically. Because the pandemic's just caused complete pandemonium. I don't know what she's being assessed on, what she's not being assessed on. I think what I'm going to do... <laughs> I have a plan, <laughs> which I've just made up today. He's um, run out of the trigonometry stuff now. I think maybe she should start going through this exam practice workbook just a little bit, just 20 minutes a day, just so that she can find out what she can do without any effort and what she has no clue how to do. And then we can flag those up and go through them with the tutor then. I reckon that would be a plan, just as a sort of diagnostic exercise. So I think what we need to do is uh, identify areas of weakness. Some of it you'll probably find really, really easy. That's page one. I'll leave a link to this in the description in case you're a home educator or... I mean, I'm the, still officially home ed because our local education authority cannot compute that she's not home educated because she's at a tertiary college because according to all their sort of inputting data systems, they can't press the button that says she's in college because she's underage. So they're just like, well, no, she's home ed. And I said, well, no, she's gone to college. They said, yeah, but she's still home educated because she's underage. So. I don't know. Officially, we're home educating. According to one authority, because she she goes to college out of catchment, according to that authority, she's in college, and co but according to ours, she's home ed. <sighs> anyway, gonna have hours of fun with this one, Isabel. She's literally got nothing to do. That's why she's sitting playing chess. She's got a tiny bit of homework, and that's it. They're just not giving her any work really much, are they? <sighs> How many hours a, a day do you think you study at the moment, just based on what they're giving you at college? I wouldn't even say 
not an hour's worth a day. I mean, we d I haven't had like a proper class where they like teach us things for performing arts in months. They just set us work that we can do on our own and head on. Mm. We haven't been like taught, taught, like ever since we got back to college. Mm. But I'm seeing her sitting idle, you know, I mean, she's not idle, she's you're self motivated, aren't you? Like, she's teaching herself how to play chess, she's been focusing on her art, she's been working on her singing. But other than that, you know, I think you're starting to short circuit a bit, aren't you? Oh, baking as well, she's been teaching herself how to bake, she's good. Ah, oh. I, I swear, IB's been coming around more often because he wants a top up of biscuits and other goodies. <laughs> anyway, Isabel was almost half considering doing another GCSE on the side. You're still considering Yeah, well, you should do because um, we've still got the subscription to Southwest Science School. It'll probably run out about June or July time, so get the most of it now if you want. I'll sit and do it with you if you want, or if you want, you can do it completely on your own. What would you prefer? I don't know, honestly. Oh, I'm tired. Well, let me know how much support or how little you want. If you want to do it completely on your own, you can. You're probably old enough now. Right, I'm going to go back and work on my vlog. That was a long stint on the camera. It's about a quarter to one now. I've finished getting my vlog up and I need to call this plumber. Now, I get nervous about calling tradespeople. I must admit, I feel vulnerable as a sort of single parent family. I've had some really good, really, really good independent tradespeople in my life. But I've just had one or two really, really bad ones. Ones that have ripped me off and just caused more damage than good really oh, I've got a whole story about the plumbing disaster <laughs> yeah <laughs> but anyway I won't go into that now it was very costly and went on for months I mean I kind of vlogged through it but I didn't talk about exactly who it was and the disaster that was that anyway he ended up, the plumber I had ended up on something like Watchdog on BBC programme for being naughty and a rogue and going round ripping people off. Well, I had him. <laughs> anyway, I met a plumber yesterday when I was out buying parts for this dishwasher and I had a long chat to him. He gave me some instructions about how to try and best attach this thing to the tap and he gave me his number. He said, if you really get stuck and you want to have a plumber, Here's my number. And the guy that worked in the shop that I was in said, oh, I can vouch for him. I've had him. He's really, really good. So <laughs> I'm going to give him a ring, I think. But I'm just going to have a look under my sink now because they'll ask me things that I don't know what it means. This is how bad I am at plumbing. So I'm just going to get everything out from under the sink now. You know, everything that's in the way, all the detergents and things, because there's a lot of stuff under there. You know what it's like. Ugh. It's a little bit of a mess. They're gonna ask me about connections and things. I don't know. I don't know. It just looks like a load of pipes to me. Um. <laughs> uh, IB reckons it's gonna cost me 150 quid in labour and parts to have it plumbed in. Now, I don't think it will because I live in a very inexpensive area and in my experience, they tradespeople cost a lot less than that, but we'll see. I've just realised that programme was not Watchdog. It was something on BBC One Wales and it was about rogue tradesmen and it was like, yeah, anyway. I've left a message. Now I'm going to go and pay my tax fine. Oh, it's all fun and games today, isn't it? Hmm. Right. The tax fine has now been paid by Bax via my banking app. And now I've got to go to the pharmacy and the GP because I have to drop off the communication from the dermatologist to our GP about the repeat prescription. So that's number one. And then I've just checked on the website to see if they're open because I know they did have limited opening hours at the pharmacy because of the pandemic, but it says it's open all day. So I'm going to go and take all the green prescriptions down and see what they've got. Probably they'll have to order everything in because it's all obscure eczema related stuff like prescription gloves and things like that. Well, it's a lovely day. I've dropped the form in at the doctor's, but um, I'm sorry to say that the chemist is shut. <laughs> the website said one thing, but the uh, the sign on the door says another. So I'm actually going to go to Greg's because there's nobody in there. It looks as quiet as a mouse. It's all open to the air, so I'm just going to grab a couple of pasties. There's a queue now. Oh, well. It's not a long one. This is the pandemic. I always think, what else can I grab while I'm in here to make the most of being in it? Um, a 
slice. Yeah. And um, we've got cheese and onion bake, yeah. Yeah. Cheese and onion bake, thank you. Hopefully Izzy will be pleased with an unexpected pizza treat in the middle of the day. <laughs> She's not long had breakfast to be honest, she uh, had it quite late so she'll probably uh, have it later. I've quickly thrown together this mixed salad. It's simply a red pepper, some of those mixed leaves that were ready prepared and a tin of red kidney beans um, and some green olives out of a jar. I've also added some olive oil, salt and some mixed herbs there as well. That was very yummy. I am going to go out now and have a take two at getting Izzy's prescriptions. There's a queue. I'm back from the chemist now. I've put the prescriptions in. There were two prescriptions with multiple items on each and I can collect them tomorrow afternoon. Right now, I'm gonna have a bit of a housework stint. I'm gonna take the old bedding off and put new on. I'm gonna put a wash on and I'm gonna put some dry clothes away as well. Oh, and I've just been washing a couple of things up by hand and changing my bin and things like that, but I didn't film it. I hurt my thumb on the dishwasher yesterday, loading it up, ironically, and then it didn't even work, but every time I touch against my thumb, it hurts. It had a pointy bit in it. I think I'm going to just put this straight in the wash now, so I'll dig out some other things that need doing that are a relatively light colour or not going to run because they're old. I think I'd probably better stop or that's not going to fit in the machine. Um, I'll leave this out, I think. It's not going to run, but it could go in with a darker load later in the week. Oh, I forgot to put the thingy in. Oh, look at that. The light all shining through it. Ah. Almost looks angelic. Um, oh, better late than never. Is that over full? Well, maybe. Tempted to take a towel back out. It's not urgent. We have lots of towels. Ooh. Something I'm very happy about today was I didn't need to wear a coat when I popped out both those times and I feel so liberated when I haven't got to wear a coat when I go out. I've just been, um, I didn't film it, but I was just putting the last of these uh, bulk purchased things in there. It went quite short, but it doesn't matter. I haven't got any small kids anyway. That's all done. I never was one for matching bed clothes, you know. I think all those items are from different sets. Pretty much all second hand. Oh no, I think I bought the pillowcases new and I might have bought that sheet actually. Everything else is second hand though. I normally only change my bed sheets if I've got IB coming that night so that way he can have that lovely clean bedding feeling but um, I just fancied doing it anyway, even though he's not coming tonight. Now, Isabel actually wants to come for a walk with me and I'm so flabbergasted so um she's just eaten her lunch quickly and then we're gonna go out for a walk and not take our coats oh I'm so excited but I know that I filmed absolutely loads today I can just tell so I'm not gonna film the walk so what I'm gonna do now is just do a bit more housework I've got some dry clothes to put away and then I'll need to hang that wet stuff out and then after I get back from my walk I need to do quite a few probably I don't know a few hours of practice because I'm going to do some recording at the weekend and I just want to really focus down on these four or five tracks that I'm just going to put down this weekend might be four actually but I just really want to focus on those and I won't film that either if you've enjoyed this video could you please give it a like because it really helps the channel to grow I so appreciate it if you're new here and you'd like to know when we upload please hit that subscribe button and if you want to get notifications of every time we upload hit the bell as well because then you'll get a little notification on your phone or your desktop whatever it is that you have anyway right thank you so much for watching bye